This video will discuss the integrated rate law for first order reactions in chemical kinetics. So we have our typical chemical reaction here, reactants A and B going to products C and D, each of them having a stoichiometric coefficient, nu A, nu B, nu C, and nu D. Our rate of reaction is going to be defined as, from previous videos, minus 1 over nu A times the derivative of the concentration of A with respect to T. And for, and for our rate law, let's assume that we have a first order reaction. So the rate of this reaction is equal to the rate constant times the concentration of A to the first power. So if this is our rate law for our rate of reaction, then what we have is a first order reaction in A, a zero order reaction in B, because this is equal to uh, B to the zero power. And overall, it's a first order reaction because being order zero plus one gives us a first order reaction overall. Okay, so, and for simplicity here, I'm assuming that the stoichiometric coefficient on A is just equal to one. All right, so what we have here is the derivative of concentration with respect to time equals a constant times the concentration. So what we're going to do is try to do separation of variables and solve uh, the integral to see what this concentration is as a function of time. Okay, so if we multiply both sides by dt, we have minus dA of t equals ka times dt. Divide both sides as well by a of t, we get dA over a equals minus uh, equals minus dt, I believe. Yes, minus. There should not be a t prime there. Hold on. There we go. We have dA over a equals minus k dt. So if we integrate both sides, we're going from t equals 0 to t equals t, or t prime equals 0 to t prime equals t. At, at t equals 0, the concentration is a naught. At t equals t, the concentration is a of t. So when we do both of these integrals, uh, dA over a, that's going to give us log of a. So we have log of a t minus log of a naught. And this is equal to, and on, sorry, this is equal to uh, log of x minus log of y is the log of x over y. So this is equal to the log of a t over a naught. And that's equal to integral of dt is just t. So t minus 0 or minus kt on this side. Um, take both sides to the power of e. We have the logarithm cancels. a t over a naught equals e to the minus kt. Multiplying both sides by a naught, we have that the concentration of our reactant A as a function of time equals the initial concentration of A times E to the minus rate constant times time. So this is called the integrated rate law because we have the rate law for the chemical reaction, which is a derivative with respect to time. We then do separation of variables and integrate that to get the integrated rate law for the concentration of our component with respect to time. All right, so if we look on some plots over here, if we start, if we look at uh, a of t versus time, we start out at t equals zero at a naught, and if we have some reaction with a large rate constant, k1 is fast, it's going to quickly decay, and then quickly approach a concentration of zero. If the rate constant's slower, we have exponential decay, which happens at a slower time scale, and as the rate constant decreases, that decay becomes even slower. Um, we also note from the structure of this equation that um, from up here, we see that the natural log of a of t equals minus kt plus natural log of a naught. So this gives us a linear equation if we plot natural log of a versus t. It starts off at t equals 0 at the natural log of a naught, and then t is going to decrease, or sorry, the, con the natural log of the concentration increases over time and the slope of this plot is equal to the negative rate constant. So if you have a reaction and you suspect it might be a first order reaction in a given component, then we can start our reaction, measure our initial rate constant, measure 
sorry, measure our initial concentration, measure our concentration as a function of time, various uh, times, and then if you plot the natural log of those concentrations versus time and you get a straight line with a negative slope, then you likely have a first order reaction and the slope of that plot is the negative first order rate constant, K.